I think we have a challenge ahead of us. Challenge. Yes, because Scott likes to do this here on Fox 9 during this segment, is give us a little weather teaser, teach us something. And we try to learn something? Yes. Is that how it works? Exactly how it works. All right, what are we going to learn tonight, Scott? Well, we try to find out the wettest place in the world. Not here. In okay. The world. So Don's, <laughs> so I guess Don's technically <laughs> right, right? Uh, the, th the reason I'm showing this is because there's a little bit of a debate out there. It all depends on the sources of information that you gather because some records, uh, some sources have different records and those numbers kind of overlap. There's so about five different places that could be ranked as the wettest place in the world. But in general, the most solid records are coming from uh, the United States out here in the Hawaiian Islands. You may have heard of this location, Mount, and I really should have looked up the pronunciation of this. Can you help me out with this, uh, Wailea? Uh, <laughs> Miss Hawaii over here will help you out, Scott. Wailea. <laughs> Wailea, not Wailea, thank you, Michelle. In Kauai, I've been to Kauai and I've seen this mountain. It is shrouded in clouds constantly right here between 460 and 511 inches of rain per year. Again, depending on the source, and that is a lot of moisture. We get 12 inches in Boise. So yes, that's right down. It is not here. Certainly in Hawaii, it is very wet. Range 335 to 360 days per year. Almost every single day, it seems to be raining in the Hawaiian Islands. And here's the reason why this happens. You've got this volcano sticking right up out of the ocean. You have those moist northeast trade winds. They're very consistent winds. That's why they're called the trade winds. A long time ago, uh, trading was done by the ships because they could follow these consistent winds across the Pacific here. So you have this moisture coming straight into the Hawaiian Islands, and it's forced to rise up to the higher elevations. When you cause air to rise, it cools, condenses, and makes precipitation. So it is constantly raining in this particular location right here, yet the sun is shining in many of these other locations, especially down to the south here, into the northeast, and good surfing up here in the northeast. But again, it is the heavy rain right here in the center part of Hawaii, and then high mountain sticking out of nowhere, uh, sticking up into the middle of nowhere, I guess you could say. But there are two places in Colombia and two in India that are pretty close as well. Some of them could say, yes, it's rainier here, but in general, the best records, I think, in Hawaii, so we'll call it Hawaii. Plus, it's ours, so it ours. we should want to claim Maybe that. And that kind of rain does not ruin a day. When there. you're in Hawaii? Right. No. You're, in, you're Hawaii in Hawaii. After all, right? <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side, nearly half a trillion dollars.